Population pyramids are a handy way to graphically represent information about a population. We can see here in this graph, we've got our population grouped into age categories, and the width of each bar shows the size of each population. And you can see that it's separated into male and female. By convention, we usually put male on the left and female on the right. So what can we get from this particular pyramid? Well, we can see in this one that the bar at the bottom is relatively large, and it decreases quite uniformly as we move upwards. It's got that, that traditional pyramid shape. Now, we can suggest that the population here is probably increasing because obviously everybody in that low category is going to grow up and then produce more offspring. So we can see that there is going to be this continuing rise in the number. But by contrast, this population pyramid shows a, a slightly more block-shaped and there isn't a significantly larger proportion of young people by contrast to the older people. And so it suggests that the population's probably re probably remaining relatively constant. Another way that we can present this information is a pyramid that looks something like this. And as you can see, it doesn't contain quite as much information because it doesn't have those distinct bars. But it, it is a more simple way to present it. And so sometimes we do use these. Now, in this particular population, we've got quite a high birth rate. But this goes down quite quickly as the population ages, which means that there's a high death rate. And that's probably associated with quite poor medical care. Obviously, as a consequence of this, there are also very few people living to old age. Now, this is quite a primitive society. This is the way things would have been for most populations in the very early stages of human civilizations. Let's contrast this now. With this one, we can see that there's still quite a high birth rate. But by contrast, the death rate, while it's not very, very low, it's still certainly lower than in the previous population. And so we could suggest that maybe there's better health care for this population. And while there are still relatively few people living to older age, there's more than there were in the previous population. Let's contrast this with something very different here. Now, in this society, we can see that there's a very low birth rate and there is quite a large proportion of people living to be a lot older. Now, then we could probably assume here that there is good access to medical care, which is why we've got quite a large proportion of people living till they're older. And we might also suggest that there is good access to contraception as well as a good education about how birth control works. We can probably assume because of all these things that this society is quite well developed. It's probably a more economically developed country. Another thing is that in societies like this, you probably find that there are more women in the workplace, which is also a reason why there is a lower birth rate. Let's think about how you could get assessed on this in an exam. A good one is to give graphs and ask you to compare them or distinguish between them or compare and contrast, something like this. And this question asks you to compare the population pyramids for countries A and B. So for these two, we could say that pyramid A has a larger proportion of people, of young people, than pyramid B. And Country A has an increasing population size, but country B has a declining population size. Mm -hmm.